This clip is brought to you by 8 Sleep Mattresses, the temperature control Tesla of beds that automates your sleep. Sleep better and enjoy this clip. So like what, what spurred you wanting to get into that? Because like you've done powerlifting at a high level, you've been killing it in wellness, and then you, you start grappling. And I'm wondering um, to the extent of how you're juggling these things, but like what made you want to do that specifically? Mm. I loved powerlifting because I loved feeling capable. Um, I loved being able to feel strong at a time in my life where I really needed that. Mm. And then switching to bodybuilding was a really fun goal that I'm not done with, but there is so much of an element of having to look at yourself and look a certain way that getting into the off season intentionally being bigger as you know something that I haven't done in a long time, I wanted to do something where I, it didn't matter how I looked. So I go to jujitsu and I put a gi on and nobody knows what I look like. It doesn't matter. And I also, I'm not really Matty Forberg when I'm there. Not that I think I'm this celebrity or something, but it's a place where I can just be totally fresh and new and I can have no expectations other than just trying something different. Mm -hmm. So it just felt really good to learn a skill, do this like contact sport, something I've never done, um, and not have to focus on how I look like to be able to do well in it. Is it nice to be a newbie at something? Oh, it's so good. It's yeah. so good. It's so good for the ego, too, to just really suck at something and like <laughs> be okay with it. Like I roll with this girl who uh, is getting ready for a fight. Um, she does like boxing. She's amazing. She's a nogi champion. So she beats me up every time. <clears throat> and every time I'm like, okay, I'm going to do a little bit better. But she usually just kicks my ass anyway. And it's like that moment of like, okay, it's it's totally fine to not be good at this. You don't have to. Like nobody's expecting you to. It's not your job. You're not getting paid for this. Mm -hmm. um, so it's been really interesting. And I've been wanting to hear your experience with it because I, I didn't realize that you were a brown belt. Like I, I know that you had started it, but from like powerlifting, bodybuilding, I wasn't sure when like yeah. you started doing that. Yeah, it's been seven years. It's what we talk about it so much. <laughs> so like it's it's been really cool. Um, it's been really awesome progressing at it. Like, especially you're going through this point right now where I mean everyone's kicking your ass and you're a physical you are a physical specimen. But I get <laughs> I, I would bet that you didn't think that you could be ragdolled so easily. No. Mm -mm. And like you know, Andrew was just talking about side control, a position I feel really strong and I can like hunker down in that. Uh -huh. And there's some areas where I can use my strength and I've got big legs, so everybody's like, Yeah, triangle the but people are flipping me upside down. I'm like inverted. <laughs> like I didn't know my body could move this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really interesting. Power Project family, we appreciate you checking out this clip. Check out another one. Just, just, just go check out another one. Or comment down below and let us know what you liked about this one. But we love you guys, and we're going to keep bringing you the heat. So comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff, okay? Peace.